morning elect i'm here to give a study this morning um the study is um the lord's table and the table of devils um, you cannot drink the cup of the lord and the cup of devils you cannot be partakers of the lord's table and of the table of devils and we're going to start our um study in the book of matthew and that will be chapter 26 and we're going to start in verse uh, 14. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priest. And he said unto them, What will you give me, and I will deliver him unto you? And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to portray him. Now the first day of the feast of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, Where will thy that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the cities to such a man, and say unto him, The master says, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my um, disciples. And um, he, he said, Go into um, the city. God's children are to come out of the city to such a man, and say unto him, the master says my time uh verse 16 it says and from that time he sought opportunity to portray him and the disciples did as jesus had appointed them and they made ready the passover and now when the evening was come he sat down with the twelve and as they did eat as he said verily i say unto you that one of you shall uh, betray me and they were exceedingly sorrowful, and they began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? And he answered and said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. Dippeth as to whelm, as to submerge, or bury someone, or something, a part of a person, by contact with fluid. Jesus answered, He it is to whom I shall give a... Um, a a sop as in a crumb or a morsel a mouthful as in rubbed off when i have dipped uh and when he had dipped the sop he gave it to judas iscariot um the son of simon um, 24 and the son of man goeth as it is written of him but woe unto him um, that man by whom the son of man is betrayed it has been good for that man if he had not been born the son of man goeth as it is written of him prophetically but woe unto that man by whom uh, the son of man is betrayed this being the resistor of that word uh, working against it um, 25 then judas which portrayed him answered and said master is it i and he said unto him thou has said um, then judas which betrayed him answered and said master in verse 18 he sent his disciples into the city to such a man and says unto him master uh, in verse 22 every one of them uh, to say unto him is lord is it i everyone says lord is it i judas says master it is letting us know that he is that man they were to tell uh, him uh, the master says my time is at hand and also from verse 16 from that time he sought sought opportunity to betray him and as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and he blessed it, and he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Bread being the word, I am the bread of life. 28, For this is my body of the New Testament, which has shed many for the remission of sins. And we're going to go to um, Jeremiah, well, yeah, we're going to go to Jeremiah 35. And I'm going to read um, that chapter, Jeremiah 35. And the word came unto Jeremiah from the Lord into the son days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Go into the house of the Rechabites, and speak unto them, and bring them into the house of the Lord into one of the chambers, and give them wine to drink. Then I took... Um, um, Jazaniah the son of Jeremiah the son 
of Habazaniah and his brethren and all his sons and the whole house of the Rechabites, the Rechabites being the sons of Cain. And I brought them into the house of the Lord, into the chambers of the sons of Hanan, the sons of Egdaliah, a man of God, which was by the chamber of the princes, which was above the chamber of uh, Maseah, son of uh, Shalom, the keeper of the door. And I set before the sons of the house of the Rechabites pots full of wine and cups. And I said unto them, Drink ye wine. But they said, We will drink no wine, for Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, commanded us, saying, You shall drink no wine, neither ye nor your sons forever. Neither shall you build house, nor sow seed, nor plant vineyard, nor have any. But all your days you shall dwell in tents, that you may live many days in the land where you be strangers. Uh, thus have we obeyed the voice of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, and all that he has charged us to drink no wine all our days, we our wives, our sons, and our, nor our daughters, nor to build houses for us to dwell in. Neither have we vineyards, nor field, nor seed. But we have dwelt in tents, and, obey, and obeyed, and done according to all that Jonadab, our father, commanded us. But it came to pass when Nechemenuzer, the king of Babylon, came into the land that we said, Come, and let us go into Jerusalem for fear of the army of the Chaldeans and for fear of the army of the Syrians. So we dwell at Jerusalem. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus say the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Go and tell the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Will you not receive instruction to hearken to my word, says the Lord? The word of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, that he commanded his sons not to drink wine or perform. For unto this day they drink none, but obey their father's commandments. Notwithstanding, I have spoken unto you, rising early, as in the manna, and speaking, but you hearken not unto me. And I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets. This is the word, the prophets of old, um, our forefathers. Uh, spiritual forefathers uh, up early sending them saying return you now every man from his evil way and amend your doings and go not after other gods to serve them and you shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers but you have not inclined your ear nor hearken unto me because the sons of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, have performed the commandment of their father, which he commanded them. But this people have not hearkened unto me. Therefore, thus say the Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the evil that I have pronounced against them, because I have spoken unto them, but they have not heard. And I have called unto them, but they have not answered. And and Jeremiah said unto the house of the Rechabites, Thus say the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Because you have obeyed the commandments of Jonadab your father, and kept all his precepts, and had done according to all that he hath commanded you. Therefore thus say the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Jonadab the son of Rechab shall not want a man to stand before me forever. And that would be um, Judas. And um, I'm just going to read in John... Eight, um, verses forty-four, four, thirty-seven. You are the father, the de you are of your father, father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. Um, he was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. You therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. And then I just want to read in... Um, I'm just going to read in Malachi... Behold, I will send Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he will turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. There's going to be two fathers. Um, that um, There's the fleshly father and um, that will honor their father, and then there's the spiritual father that will 
honor their father. You have to know the difference. You have to discern. They sit at the same table. Okay. Then we're going to go back to um, Matthew 26, and we are in... Um, 29 verse 29 but i say unto you i will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when i drink it new with you in my father's house um this wine um is new um in my father's kingdom our spiritual father not fleshly father and then um we're going to go to mark 7 um verse 1 Then came together unto him the Pharisees, and a certain of the scribes which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread and defile, that is to say, with unwashed hands, they found fault. And for the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash their hands, oft eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not, and many other things there be, which they receive to hold as the washing of cups and pots, brazen vessels, and of tables. This is the outward display of washing, not the inward. Then the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why walk not thy uh, disciples? Um, according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashing hands. Why are you not teaching your disciples the traditions of the elders, uh, of the flesh, um, the, the fleshly fathers? And he answered and said unto them, Well, hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites? As it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Um, wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, do honor me, but I have removed their heart far from um, me, and um, their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. Um, how about, In vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Um, these are the resistors of the Holy Spirit. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such uh, like things that you do. Um, this is the, the water is on the inside, um, the living waters. And he said unto them, Full well you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own tradition. Um, and for Moses says, Honor thy father and thy mother, and whoso curse a father or mother, let him die the death. But you say, If a man shall say to his father or mother, It is Corban, that is to say, a gift, by whatsoever thy mightest be profited by me, he shall be free. And you suffer him no more to, to do aught for his father or his mother, making the word of God of none of Back through your tradition which you have delivered and many such like things um, do ye and when he had called all the people unto him he said unto them hearken unto me every one of you and understand hearken unto me every one of you and understand listen and understand open your ears to the spirit there is nothing from without a man that entereth into him can defile him, but the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. The outward of washing hands, as in things, as in verse 8, such like things that you do. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And when he entered into the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. And he said unto them, Are you so without understanding? Also do you not perceive that whatsoever thing from without entereth into the man, it cannot defile him, because it entereth not into his heart, but into the belly, and goeth out into the drought, purging all meats. This is earthly, not spiritual, the heart being of the spirit. And he said, That which cometh out of the man that defileth the man from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulterers, fornications, uh, murderers, out of the heart, as in the... Um, of men, as in the flesh side, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, uh, evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Evil things come from within and defile the man, as in the Gentile man of the flesh. Um, and from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon and entered into a house and would have no man know it, but he could not um, be hid. Um, this Tyre being the merchant city, um, 
spiritual um, traders of souls. Um, for a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet. This being a certain woman, not just any woman. A woman is a woman that brings forth children. Her daughter, um, as in uh, the spirit, uh, those that come forth in the spirit, had an unclean spirit as a, the perverse spirit. She heard as to spiritually hear, as in verse 16, if any have ears to hear, let them hear. Uh, she heard with her spiritual ears, this is her daughter, as in of an unclean spirit, and he, uh, as he explained, uh, of the traditions of man, not of God, but of man. And the woman was Greek, um, a Syro uh, nation, uh, as in Gentile from birth. Uh, she, she having ears to hear, um, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread and cast it unto the dogs. These are the children that uh, come forth from Mother Israel first, as in first in the spirit, God's Levitical priesthood, the elect. Uh, 28. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. She calls him Lord, as did the disciples at the Last Supper. Not like Judas that called him Master, the children have left crumbs under the table so the dogs can eat them. Uh, 29. And he said unto her, For this saying, Go thy way. The devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed. And again departing from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, he came into the city of Galilee through the midst of the coast of Decapolis. And, the, and they bring unto him one that was deaf and had an, an impediment in his speech. And they beseech him to put his hand upon them. Um, they wanted him to put his hand upon the, him. And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers into his ears and he spit and he touched his tongue he put his fingers uh, into his ears and he spit this being the living water and he touched his tongue with it and he looked up to heaven and he sighed and he says unto him um, Ephatha that is be open and straightway his ears were open and the string of his tongue was loosed and he spake plain string as in a band a ligament of the body a shackle of a prisoner, an impediment, or disability. And we're going to read in Ezekiel 37. And the hand of the Lord was upon me, and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, and he set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. And he caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open field, and lo, they were very dry, because they did not have the living waters. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thy knowest. And again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O you dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. And, say, and thus said the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath into you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied there was a noise, and a, behold a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was uh, no um, breath um, in them uh, this being um, as in verse 35 uh, string as in a band a ligament of the body this is what holds up the body and then um, then he said unto me prophesy unto the wind prophesy son of man and say to the wind thus say the lord god come from the four winds O breath and breathe upon these slain that they may live this will bring about the spiritual uh, man and when the four winds are um, released so i prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and they stood upon their feet an exceedingly great army and then he said unto me son of man these bones are the whole house of israel behold they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost we are cut off from our parts 
Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus say the Lord God, Behold my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Uh, let me just keep fit, um finishing and you shall know that i am the lord when i have opened your graves O my people and brought you up out of your graves and shall put my spirit in you and you shall live and shall place you in your own land and you shall know that i the lord have spoken it and i performed it says um the lord and then we're gonna um go back uh, we're gonna go to luke 16 um verse 1 and he said, he said also unto his disciples, there was a certain rich man which had a steward and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. This is a certain rich man. Um, he was rich in material goods as was Judas. And he called him and he said unto him, how is it that I hear of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship for thy mayest be no longer a steward. Uh, Judas was one of the twelve. Judas also the name for Judah. Judah are those that are to be one in Christ. Then he, the steward said within himself, What shall I do for my Lord taketh away from me the stewardship? I cannot dig to beg. I am ashamed. I am resolved what to do, that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. So he called every one of his Lord's debtors, debtors unto him and said unto the first how much owest thou unto my lord and he said a hundred measures of oil and he said unto him take thy bill and sit down quickly and write fifty and then he said he to another and how much owest thou and he said a hundred measures of wheat and he said unto him take thy bill and write four score and the lord commended the unjust steward because he had done wisely for the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light this being the thief and the robber the soul merchandiser this being the children of the world in their generation this being the sixth day man as in the weakness of man the seventh day man has not come forth as to discern they are relying on their fleshly senses they are being deceived um, and I say unto you, make to yourselves friends of the mammon of unrighteousness, that when you fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitations. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much, and he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. If therefore you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? God will test his children to prove them, to see if they can be trusted in spiritual, uh, as a, in spiritual elevation, as an elevated over their brethren. And if you have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God in mammon. Judas is one of the twelve that called him master. The rest called him Lord. He served mammon over God. He allowed his flesh to rule so Satan was able to inhabit him. Uh, 14. And the Pharisees also who were covetous heard all these things and they derided him. And he said unto them, You are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in um, the sight of, of um, our uh, sight of God. God is a cardio knower. He knows who he can trust. The law and the prophets were un until John. Since that time the kingdom of God is preached and every man presseth uh, into it. Um, the law, Moses and the prophets, Elijah, uh, were until John, John being the last prophet before Christ. For Isaiah, Isaiah said, Let them take a lump as in pressing together of figs and lay it for a plaster upon the boil, and he shall recover. And it, that's being the figs being pressed together, becoming one member. Mem Membered body, and it's easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle of the law uh, to fail. 
whosoever putteth away his wife and marrieth another committeth adultery and whosoever marrieth her that is put away from her husband husband committeth adultery there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously uh, every day this being the certain rich man judas um um was rich in material goods outwardly clothed in purple and fine linen looking as looking at um the part as the levitical priesthood sumptuously as in luxuriously living and there was a certain beggar named lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores uh, this is a certain beggar he is a beggar for the bread of truth lazarus meaning eleazar eleazar was aaron's son that took over the levitical priesthood he was full of sores as in fleshly diseased remember um the figs being pressed together they heal uh, the boil um and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table moreover the dogs came and licked his sores he is desiring the crumbs of this rich man um one that is filled uh, with knowledge um looking outwardly of a priest the dogs came then licked the sores in uh, mark 7 um um, verse 28 the certain woman is in the spiritual side of man that brings forth children yes lord yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs the rich man leaves no crumbs and the dogs lick his sores this man doesn't care and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into abraham's bosom and the rich man also died and was buried the beggar died and was carried by the angels angels being spiritual messengers uh, into the bosom of abraham abraham being of our spiritual forefathers that guide us to mount moriah the rich man also died and was buried uh, and the past uh, and the passengers that pass through the land uh, when any seeth a man's bone then shall he set up a sign by it till the barriers have buried it in the valley of Haman God we are to be bone upon his bone as in Christ bone is the strength of the body that makes us stand upright uh, 23 and in hell he lift up his eyes being in torments and seeing Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom hell is in Hades the place of the departed souls uh, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I'm alive. Furthermore, amen, and have the keys, as in uh, shutting a lock of hell and of death. And he seeth uh, Abraham afar off, as in prophetically. And he cried, and he said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame send lazarus as in eleazar the levitical priesthood after aaron in mark 7 um verses 32 through 33 and they bring unto him one that was deaf and had an impediment in his speech and they beseech him to put his hand upon him and he took him aside from the multitude and put his finger into his ears and he spit and he touched his tongue this being the living waters but abraham said son remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth thy good things and likewise lazarus evil things but now he is comforted and thy aren't tormented you receive good things as in truth not as um in mark 7 um verse um verses 7 through 8 how about in vain do they worship me teaching for the doctrines of the commandments of men for laying aside the commandment of god you hold the tr traditions of men as in washing of pots and cups and money other such uh, like things uh, you do lazarus the evil things the doctrines and commandments of men he is comforted in abraham's bosom because he desired the crumbs thy aren't tormented not having the living waters and beside all this between us and you there's a great gulf fixed that they which would pass from hence to you cannot neither can they pass to us that would come from thence this is the boundary of the spiritual realm where the spiritual dead um um uh, that spiritually dead um are then he said i pray thee therefore father that thy wouldest send him to my father's house 
to my father's house, um, as in Rechab, for I have five brethren that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Um, and Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Uh, Moses and the prophets, as in the two witnesses. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, if one went unto them from the dead, they would will repent. One went from them from the dead, as in this rich man that was buried. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Uh, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, as in the two witnesses, neither will they be persuaded through one um, being rose from the dead, as in Christ. And then I'm um, going to read Psalms 49. To the chief musician, as to prop, meaning as to properly glitter from afar, a superintendent, especially of the temple services and its music overseers, the Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hind's feet, and he will make me to walk upon high places. To the chief singer on my stringed instruments, a stringed instrument, also a poem set to a music, an epigram, a remark, um, a short saying expressing an idea in a clever um, way. Uh, starting one. Hear this, O you people. Give ear, all you inhabitants of the world. Listen with your spiritual ears open. Both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. Um, I will uh, decline my ear um, my spirit my uh, heart as in spirit um, I will incline my ear to a to a my ear to a parable I will open my dark sayings upon the harp incline my ear to a parable as a simple story used to illustrate a moral or spiritual lesson I will open my dark saying as in a riddle upon the harp, the lyre, a stringed instrument. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil when the iniquity of my heel shall compass me about? Uh, they that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother nor give to God a ransom for him. They will not be able to re redeem his brother. They um, they are of the flesh, having fleshly desires. God will not use them. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceaseth forever. For he should still live forever and not see corruption. For he seeth that wise men die, likewise the fool and the brutish person perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought is that their houses shall contain forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beasts that perish. This is their way, is their folly. Yet their posterity approve their sayings. Like sheep, they are, are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. In the morning is when the day of the dawn, morning star, rises in their heart. Star is in a spiritual messenger of the morning, the day star. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts." But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave. He shall receive me. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul, and men will praise thee when thou doest well to thyself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light. 
Go to the generation of his fathers. They will never see as to able to spiritually see light, spiritual illumination. And then I'm going to go to Psalm 144. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Lord, what is man that thy takest knowledge of him, or the son of man that makest account of him? Man is like to vanity, his days are as a shadow that passes away. Uh, bow thy heavens, O Lord, and come down, touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning and scatter them. Shoot out thy arrows and destroy them. Send thy hand from above. Rid me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, un upon a psalter and an instrument of ten strings while I sing praises unto thee. This is a new song unto thee, O God, upon a psalter and an instrument of ten strings while I sing praises unto thee. Uh, a dacochord, a musical instrument having ten strings. My beloved is white, that is dazzling, sunny, bright, and ruddy, rosy. The chiefest as to set up with banners, chiefest. The chief musician provides leadership and musical expertise to direct, structure, coordinate, and implement a, a full orbit musical dimension to the ministry of Christ. We will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God, and we will set up our banners. The, um, the, law, the Lord fulfill all thy petitions request. Who is he that looketh forth as in the morning Fair as in the moon, clear as the sun, and in terrible as an army uh, with um, banners. Uh, lift you up a banner, a signal, a token upon the, the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand, and they may go into uh, the gates of um, the nobles. And is he that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth David, his servant, from the hurtful sword? Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity as an empty, emptiness of the flesh, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood, that our sons may be as plants grown up in their uh, youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones, polished after the uh, similitude of a palace, that our garners may be full affording all manner of store that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousand in our streets that our oxen may be strong to labor and there be no breaking in nor going out that there be no complaining in our streets happy is that people that is in such a case yea happy is that people whose god is the lord we have a choice in these days we are to serve the lord jesus christ our spiritual father or we're going to serve Lucifer, um, the fleshly father. This is your choice. Make the right one. And that will be the end for today, elect. You have a great day until the morning.